when you get your when you get your epi pen it comes in a two pack like this right i this is mine this is the one i used uh monday when i had my allergic reaction see it comes in two pack and the other one i carry it in my bag in my pocket i carry it in my pocket and it comes also with the trainer the trainer is has the gray cap all right you practice with this at home you don't carry it with you you don't want to accidentally use this when you need the live one all right so uh you'll either get the yellow one or the green one depending on the strength the doctor prescribed you all right you want to carry both just in case you need both you know and you also want to carry your antihistamine with you because they said that the EpiPen does not fight the allergens that cause your allergic reaction. So you want to carry your Benadryl. Or the, I, I guess Benadryl would be the best one to carry with the EpiPen. All right. So this is sensitive to light, heat, and cold. So you want to make sure that it's... There's a little window here. If it's blocked, that means it's used. Or it's no good and has to be replaced if you see it's discolored you have to replace it and and this I, I used it already so this little gray cap came out this little gray piece inside it has the spring and the needle you can look and see that okay so when you first get it you want to check the expiration date it's supposed to be good for one year if not you ask for another one okay and you check the lot number to make sure that there are any recalls on it or anything wrong with it all right so the where's the trainer here now the reason you hold it in your fist is because you don't want to block the bottom or the top you need the bottom you need the top okay this is the injector part and the safety clip you have to take it off or else it will not work all right the reason you put it close to your thigh before you take the safety clip is because you don't want to accidentally inject it to anywhere else so you inject it into the middle part of your thigh the largest part the most effective place to administer it okay right i wrote some notes because you know it's got to be accurate and if i'm not accurate definitely write a comment you know because this is my first this was my first time using it so yeah so okay when you jam in your thigh you listen for the click that means when you hear the click that means the injection is starting and you hold it firmly if you might feel a push back you hold it firmly, okay? So don't jam it too hard. You swing it, jam it. Don't jam it too hard, it might push back, all right? You could, it goes through clothes, leather, jeans, pants, anything that you're wearing, it goes right through. Uh, but they said if you put it directly, it's more effective, okay? And what else it says? Okay, you might, now. <laughs> This is the part that I didn't know. You massage the area afterwards for 10 seconds and while you call 911. All right. I didn't massage the area, but a couple hours later, after when I was still in the hospital, I just felt the stinging and burning where I injected myself at. So I don't know what the massage do. Maybe I wouldn't feel that or whatever, but it was just so sore and it was stinging and burning. And when you first get the injection, you're going to feel dizzy too. So that's to be expected. All right. And I said you're supposed to carry the antihistamine, but if your throat still feels swollen or you, you'll know. You'll be the judge of that. You you can't swallow or drink anything because you don't want to choke, you know? You don't want it to get stuck there. So your best bet would be to wait for the ambulance. They'll give you a shot of Benadryl or 
whatever steroid that will take the swelling down okay i want you to be prepared know everything and if there's any information that i miss definitely make a comment i i will definitely update make the update okay so this is how to use the epi pen it's classy eh herbal tea that's my experience with angioedema. My face swole up. <laughs> All right, bye.